So, Grace, um, tell us about, you know, I heard about when you were 14. Yes. It all yeah. kind of started. Can yeah. you remember what the first thing was? Yes. Yeah, so I was just at school one day and I'd never fainted before ever. Mm. Um, and I went to the toilet by myself after doing a fitness session and I just collapsed in the toilet. Never happened before. Okay. Um, and I woke up and this girl found me and then I went to the doctor's. And because um, it was very unusual for me, I never experienced anything like it before ever. Did you have a warning about it? Did, did, you, did you tell something was going wrong before? No, no warning at all. I felt fine. I felt maybe a little bit tired because I'd just been exercising, but that's it. And, and what, um, were, you, were you sitting, what, what, what bit of the toileting <laughs> had you got to? Well, I'd been to the toilet and I was just walking out. Uh, so I was in sort of like the, well, like you so wash you your hands. Up, and, and, yeah, and I was just, um, I think I was just washing my hands at the time and just collapsed. And did you feel any loss of vision or dizziness or? Yes, yeah, I was completely sort of um, disorientated. I didn't really know where I was. That's when you woke um, up or? Yes, oh. yeah. Did you feel anything before you collapsed? No. Not at all, no. Okay. And then that happened more, didn't it? Yes, yeah, Okay, so when was the next day. time? Um, so the next time was the next day. Mm. Uh, we went on a school trip. And we'd already been to the doctor and she said it was fine for us yeah. to go um, and it would be fine. But it actually happened whilst I was watching the, uh, we were at a theater and I was watching a play and I collapsed in there. Were you sitting down? Yes. At the time. Yeah. And what was the play? What was happening? Um, we were watching Curious Incident of the, what is it? The Dog, Dog in the, in the Night. Night. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we literally only just started and I just collapsed. There was a lot of uh, bright lights in the thing, yeah. so I thought maybe that could have... And did you feel yeah. anything before you collapsed? No, not No at trouble all. with your eyesight no. or hearing? No, no. And then you had a lot after that, didn't you? Yes. So, uh, with any of them, were there, was there any, any trouble with your eyes or hearing? Uh, no, nothing with my eyes or my hearing. The only other warning I would ever get, which was very... Um, like minor and not very often mm. um, was maybe feeling a bit dizzy if I'd stood up too quickly from sitting down for a long period of time okay. or if I'd been swimming or running or anything like that then I felt a bit dizzy. And does that dizziness feel like um, like a wobbly woozy leg jelly legs or was it more yes. a spinning? Thing? Uh, it was very wobbly I felt like my head was just spinning the whole time yeah. Okay and did you ever get one of your faints after feeling like that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it was the same. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's really good evidence that the, having a something wrong with your blood pressure and heart rate control yeah. that's producing it, that you get that sort of dizzy, woozy, wobbly, jelly legs yeah. kind and of I'd thing. And I often feel like that, mm -hmm. um, but then not faint if I could sit down or okay. lie down in time. So it got better. I got better at managing it as it went on. Okay. And do you know the three manoeuvres that people sometimes um, teach to to try and prevent loss of consciousness when, when you get that feeling? I've Have probably anybody? heard of them before. but So shall I just go through them yes. for you? So one is drink a big glass of water. And we learned today it doesn't have to be cold water, yes, but lukewarm yeah. water is yeah. right. And that stretches your stomach. So you know that heavy feeling in your stomach? Yes. It feels like concrete if you've drunk yeah. gulping down stuff. So that's a stretching your stomach and that causes a reflex to put your blood pressure up. Oh, okay. So that can kind of prevent it going into a full blown faint. Number two is to, I'm not going to demonstrate it because we're wider, but it's to squat down. Uh, do you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. Squat, squat right down. So that that's pretty good, to pushing the blood pressure up temporarily. Of course, you've got to be careful when you stand up again. Yeah. And number three, say you're in a crowd and it might be dangerous to squat. What you can do is stand up with your legs straight, feet crossed over, squeeze your legs tight together, squeeze your... Oh, I've never even heard of that before. Thighs really tight yeah. and fold your arms really tight and squeeze and that puts the blood pressure up. So that's been shown to work with fainting, the sort that you've been getting. It temporarily pushes the blood pressure up. So they're useful. Yeah, very useful. It things have, to know. That could have helped a lot <laughs> in a lot of situations. Okay. So that was when you were 14 and you went through a really 
bad time. But yeah. now, how are things? Yeah. Things are much better. I am. Um, I still occasionally get dizzy, and I'm still on quite a lot of medication every day to keep me stable. Okay. But um, the last time I fainted was in January. Oh wow! Um, so from going from eight times a day to yeah. such a long period of time without fainting is just. When was the one before January? Um, well, it was sort of January. I did my mock exams in January, oh, so I was okay. very stressed. So they were over Christmas, especially. It was sort of every single day. Oh, really? So the stress can play into that, can't it? Make definitely make that worse for yeah. you. Okay. And um, do you think they were all the same? Did they feel all the same, or did you have different kinds? Do you think? Um, I definitely had one major one that was like most frequent and felt exactly the same. But occasionally, I did have. Um, faints that felt different um, okay. and came so usually there would be like quite a significant like pattern in them um, if I was stressed or angry or like just dizzy or yeah. overexerted myself but sometimes it was just the randomest things that were just unexplainable and they, they felt what did they feel like those ones um, what the different one what, what was different about the different ones I just felt a little bit more so every time I fainted normally, I it was like the exact same. I'd wake up, I'd need water, I yeah. felt tired. But occasionally I'd wake up and just feel completely disorientated. I wouldn't know where I was. Um, and it took much longer than for me to mm. recover from those ones. Mm. Did you is, sleep after some of them? Yes. Yeah, I came home from school a lot and just slept for the rest of the day. Would you have any aches in your neck or shoulders? Often? Sometimes, um, especially, it de well, depends um, how I collapsed. A lot of the time I would fall down the stairs or mm. in some awkward places, which mm. left me really sore in places. Yeah, okay, and you had some injuries? Uh, yes. What, what, tell yeah. us about what happened to you. Um, I think the worst was probably I fainted down the stairs at school and they found me sort of head first and I woke up and complained of um, back pain oh. so they didn't move me the ambulance came oh. and I had um, they strap you to a board strap me to the board the, with the head brace thing. yeah and then it, I um that was really scary they had to inject me with loads of sugar to keep my sugar levels up mm -hmm. um, and then I had some CT scans and x-rays and I was fine but that was probably the worst that had happened. Wow, so you've been through a lot. So yeah. um, what advice would you give to a 14 year old who's been th going to go through what you've been um, through, do you think? I'd probably just say that even though it, it at the time it feels like the worst thing ever and it's mm. really hard and maybe some of your friends might distance themselves from you or exclude you from things, but it'll definitely get better. And as long as you can see that I think that's mm. probably the hardest thing but I mean when I was 14 and it was happening I never expected that like now almost 17 that I'd be so much better so it will it's get hard to see your way out of you think it's gonna last forever don't you yeah. when you're in it so well done Thank and what you. are you doing now to raise awareness and so we've um I set up a just giving page um almost a year ago mm. and I dyed my hair red <laughs> and then I did um, a talk to my school and I held a netball tournament so that was in school and then I did a half marathon in Hastings wow. in March. Was that um, this year? Yes, wow. which was very challenging um, and then some of my family have done some things like my uncle did a run from London to Brighton and my dad is walking the length of Great Britain at the moment Goodness for me. the charity. Fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Well, thanks ever so much for Thank you very sharing. much. <laughs> Thank you.